from. Most of the cranberries in the U.S. are grown in Wisconsin. And Allison Struve visited a cranberry bog to get a look at the harvest. She joins us live from the News and Content Center. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning, Pete. The cranberry harvest usually lasts about two or three weeks, and growers in central, northern, and western Wisconsin are right in the middle of it. We learned cranberries are actually grown in dry beds that are flooded during harvest time. Since cranberries are hollow, they actually float to the surface with a little bit of help. Most growers use the same concepts to harvest, but actually tweak the techniques and equipment a little bit to suit them. We traveled from Green Bay to Northern Portage County and spent a rainy morning at Dubay Cranberries in Junction City with manager Dave Hansen. So Dave, we've started flooding this bed here. It still needs more water in it, but what's happening now? Right now, this is our first step of our harvest operation. Actually, this machine, which we call the bridge, is actually gently knocking off the cranberry soil. What you see the action is going on, the reels are turning counterclockwise in the direction that they're going. They're knocking the cranberries off if you can see them floating in the water. Uh, the bridge that we use is pretty much unique to our marsh and pretty much the state. It's the only one in the state that, that I know of is used for harvest operation. Uh, other marshes have similar machines like this, but they're on wheels that are actually in the bed. This doesn't require any, any machine to be in the bed itself. So. All we have is the weight of the machine that's on that floating on top of the bed, knocking them off. The guys in the back are are keeping track and making sure everything's in line. Uh, right now we're in one little bit of a training session here, so training oh, in a so new guy. So explaining what's happening. So do these two guys, is it called driving the bridge or what are they doing? Correct. They're driving okay. the bridge and when they get down to the end they'll have to turn it around so they can make their next pass. Wow. Uh, the bed that they're doing right now and every bed that we have are the berries are knocked off in, in the same direction every year, so we call it training. The vines are trained in one, one direction, so we'll have to keep on going that same direction all the time whenever we harvest. Okay. And how long of a process? Do they just go through once, or do uh, they have to go through They'll take, again? on this bed here, they'll take uh, four passes through, and each pass will probably take right around 20 minutes. Okay. So they'll do it two beds together. Uh, it will take them probably about three hours to do both beds by the time they turn around and move everything around. It's a little bit of a slower process that goes on, mm -hmm. but that's the way cranberry harvest is. You take a little bit at a time. Interesting stuff, all those different steps. And, of course, the next step is actually getting the cranberries out of the water. So we'll show you more of that coming up next hour.